Oh, a little bit of disagreement here. Okay, so maybe this isn't as obvious as we thought. So let's take a look. Most of us are saying, let's see, the most popular answer is answer three, six volts. But some people are saying negative six volts. Some people are saying negative 18. So let's see. We have a situation where you have zero volts per meter inside this metal block. And A is here, and uh, it's 0.02 meters away from the surface. This distance is 0.03 meters. And then the distance from the surface to B is 0.04. Okay. So. Electric field on the left side is pointing in the positive x direction, 300 volts per meter. Negative x direction on the other side, 300 volts per meter. Okay. And our path goes, we said we're starting at A and we're going to B, right? So I'll just pick a path that goes along a straight line. It goes straight through the block, directly over to B, right? Okay. How many different regions do I want to break this up into? Two, three, two, three. Well, one of them has one region has an electric field that is equal to zero, right? So that that region is going to be easy to calculate, but it's still a region that we're going through, right? If we're imagining traveling along a path that goes from A to B, we traverse through. This uh, this region of zero field, so we should take it into account. Okay, it's I mean it, it, calculationally it, it's going to be simply simple to deal with, but it's still three different regions of uniform field. Okay, so from A to the surface, from the surface to the other surface, and then from the surface to B. Okay, so let's break it up into three sections. We have V B minus V A is going to be negative E1 delta L1 plus or minus, we're adding our negative here, minus E2 dot delta L2 minus E3 dot delta L3. Okay. So negative. How would I write E1 as a vector? This is this is E1, right? And this is E2. And over here is E3. So how do I write E1 as a vector? 300, 0, 0. How do I write delta L1 as a vector? 0.02, 0, 0. Okay. All right. Vector E2 is just, or electric field E2 is just, Zero, 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 right? Dotted with that path. So it's not going to matter much. And then lastly, the electric field uh, in region three is what vector? Negative 300. So we have a minus a negative 300, zero, zero, dotted with 0 0.04, positive 0 0.04, zero, zero. All right, and this is you know the units volts per meter times meters, volts per meter times meters. We're going to get units of volts, okay? So I get what? This is going to give me negative six, right? This sec, this is going to give me zero, and this is going to give me what? I have I'm subtracting. And I have a negative 300 times 0.04 that gives me a negative 12, right? Negative 12. And then if I have a minus times a minus, that's going to give me positive. So I end up with the total potential difference is 6 volts, positive 6 volts, okay? So you can see once again what happened. Uh, Lost the negative sign there. Is that where the that's where the negative 18 came from for a lot of people, right? 
So that, that's easy to do. How can we check it? Well, remember what we talked about last time. If I'm going in the direction of the electric field, I start at A, imagine, imagine sort of walking along this path, or imagine a, a positive charge moving along this path, okay? You start at A, and you're going in the direction of the electric field, that should give you a potential difference that's positive or negative. If you're going in the direction of the field, the potential goes down, right? It's a, actually a negative, okay? So remember, well, we just erased it, but delta V is negative when electric field and delta L are in the same direction, okay? So again, the way to think about that is if, if you let a positive charge go, on its own, it would move in the direction of the electric field. There would be positive work that done on it. Its kinetic energy would increase. The potential energy then would have to decrease. So the potential would have to decrease, right? Okay, so that's got to be negative. Go through here, you get zero. But now you're going in the, or in the opposite direction of the electric field, so the potential on that side should be positive, right? So delta V is greater than zero if the electric field and delta L are in the opposite direction, okay? So again, the point is check it, okay? It's easy to make sign mistakes. Check it as, as much as you can by looking at what the sign should be based on the physical situation, okay? So six, is, six volts, number three is correct.